Getting there, then Skyman and Aquacade, El Ventador. Could this be the upset of the century? Legano can't pick up El Ventador, El Ventador. Broke out really well here. Uh, going back, Penny Wecker and Luck Creek just after the start. As two there was He's a Doozy. Now Pierre's begun quickly. Call sign Mav and Spring Tide right there with Skewworth and Belle Claire. Sharp and Smash close enough. And then we have Aromatic and Wider out to Brando. Back behind these runners then. Look at his split looking to take off and around them. Legato's uh, beyond midfield over on the inside of He's a Doozy, Malt Time and Gosboden. Back behind that Penny Wecker and Luck Creek. She's the last of them here as the Tarzino run into the first quarter. 850 metres to go, he's had it fairly easy, Pierre, call sign Mav, right there, ready to go and then we've got Spring Tide over on the outside, Skewworth and look at his splits wider out, Belclair behind them, sharp and smart, the inside from Dragon Leap and then Brando around Aromatic, Legato she's going to need to get out of there, back behind these runners then is Malt Time, Gosboat and he's a doozy, taking off Lark Creek and Pennywecker the inside, Pierre tops the straight first, goes for home in the Tarzino from call sign Sign Mav, Spring Tide the inside. Stewith travels well alongside of these. And then Dragon Leap looking to run on as Bell Clear. Pierre Stewith getting alongside of it. Spring Tide not much room. Dragon Leap is starting to lift. Stewith kick hard. Dragon Leap's coming after it. And Legato is absolutely humming, but Stewith gets the Tarzino. Dragon Leap and then Legato. Spring Tide calls Sign Mav behind them when they've hit it. Has been mock time. And racing. They bounce out from the 1600. Chase goes back in the early part. As two does time's ticking. Pierre's away well. Malt time right there. As two, Polly Gray and Aromatic comes forward over on the outside. As two then does call sign Mav going up towards the pace. Back and behind them then is Pierre and Malt time. And Mustang Valley the outside of those. Mally Stom's the next. He's a doozy over on the inside. Sharp and smart is with those runners as well. As two, Campionessa in that group as they run on down the back of the track. Just ask me when ahead of those. Sharp and smart now back to third to last from Chase and time's ticking the last of them the Arrowfield work on down the back now and after the 1000 metres and call sign Mav leads Polly Gray second, Aromatic third Pierre four on the inside of Mustang Valley getting a nice run, Malt Time is the next, just ask me he's got closer now, then Campionessa the inside he's a doozy, Mally Stom after the 800, they're followed around by Sharp and Smart, Chase and time's ticking's the last, he travels okay here, call sign Mav, running towards the 600 metres in the group one, Arrowfield stud plate, he leads from on the outside, Mustang Valley comes forward, Pierre's pushing through in the middle well, and then just ask me, Malt Time, Polly Gray behind these, Campionessa, Marley Som, and he's a doozy as they turn, it is call sign Mav in front, on the outside, Mustang Valley into the conversation quickly, Malt Time and just ask me, he's out wider, Mustang Valley to the lead, call sign Mav, he's fighting hard on the inside, Malt Time's trying to try them back as well, Mustang Valley Malt Time on the outside coming quickly it's Mustang Valley in front and she's too good again Mustang Valley wins the Arrowfield second over Malt Time, call sign Mav time's ticking to run and they're racing they break out pretty well, barring Defibrillate, who was slow, has got back, Enchanted Earl goes back and over towards the inside, and meanwhile Chase has come away quickly, it's the early leader, Pearl of Alsace has uh, jumped away nicely, Cake by the Ocean and Call Sign Mav, he's pulling his way up on the outside, wider time sticking, Mustang Valley, she's going to settle just in behind the early pace, and we'll get a good run, 1600 metres to go, then we have over on the inside, Platinum Invader of Ladies Man, and getting past those, wider out Aromatic. The next defibrillate recovers. Enchanted Earl in the middle pose a wider and just ask me he's the last of them. So it is Cake by the Ocean in front from Call Sign Mav and going forward on the outside of them now. Time sticking up towards the uh, pace as well. Then Pearl of Alsace. Mustang Valley the outside. Chase is trying to push between those. Then we have the next one Aromatic to Platinum Invader. Ladies Man the outside. Wider to Poser. Then defibrillate back inside of Enchanted Earl and 
three to Just Ask Me is the last one. That's the order as the Livermore run on down the back of the track. And it is uh, the leader here as they travel along as time's ticking shows out from uh, Call Sign Mav. He's a half length away. Cake by the Ocean, sweet seating. And Mustang Valley's in a gorgeous spot. Fourth the outside, ready to go. Aromatic follows her. Pearl of Alsace, the inside, easing off the fence. Ladies' man follows Aromatic and now gets the go button. Just Ask Me circles, Poser, Platinum, Invader, Enchanted L, Defibrillate and Chase has gone back. Two last of all times ticking, comes to the top of the straight in the little mole. They run for the money line in the group one. On the outside, call sign Mav, Mustang Valley. Ladies' man sprinting hard in the middle as well. Ranging up with Pearl of Alsace, who's getting through. Ladies' man out wide, Mustang Valley, Pearl of Alsace closer to the inside. Time sticking, fighting on as well. Pearl of Alsace, ladies' man on the outside and flying home Platinum and Vader, but it's ladies' man to grab the little mole. Ladies' man, Platinum and Vader, Pearl of Alsace and Mustang Valley. Jetty pinged out beautifully the favourite. And he's straight onto the speed, solidify going forward as is Taliska. Burn to shine kicking up under those and ridden really hard as Balzano in the early stages. Dan Giro next on the outside of To Catch a Thief. One away then to Bozo from Herbert and back at the rear, Tro Brian. So they're having him on here. Balzano around the outside, puts it to Crochetti and drew a length in front. Over to third on the outside is Taliska. Burn to shine next on the fence underneath of Solidify. Then came to catch a thief and Dan Giro together. Two lengths away then to Lantern Way underneath of Bozo. Then came Herbert and at the rear is Tro Brian. Down the side, Balzano the leader. By three quarters to Taliska. Crochetti box seating at the 800 is solidify fourth held up fifth on the fences burn to shine and then came dan juro to catch a thief races next next in the field is lantern way bozo around those from trobriand and two lengths away to herbert coming for home in the 2000 guineas they have 500 meters to go balzano the leader from trobriand the outside moving forward then is crochetti getting into the clear then came solidify taliska the outside got two uh, on the outside crochetti now coming after Teleska, then Burn to Shine, Solidify. Crochetti hit the front, dribble length clear from Teleska. Two lengths away to catch a thief, and then came Solidify. It is Crochetti with a fight in his hands from Teleska. Crochetti a neck in front, now a length. It's Crochetti, and he takes the leap to fame. Crochetti won the 2,000 guineas by a half a length. Second across Teleska, third in was to catch a thief. Lady Sass stood there, missed it a couple early speed from uh, going forward at the start as illicit dreams wide out also star of justice getting handy and impendable came away third and coming out fourth is grande gallo then came bozo underneath of luberon who's three wide shanti lace on the fence from firestorm and then quintabel viva vienna mary shan in the midfield position warning signal wide around those from lady sass and then came epi bill sugar well back is molly bloom on the outside of chica mojito and at the back end of the field as they come off the back of the track is epi Beale as they come down the side, taking over now Star of Justice to lead. So it's Star of Justice, a length and a half to Illicit Dreams, Luberon right there. So too Grande Gallo, who went through to third on the fence underneath of Impendabelle. A length and a half then to Shanti Lace, who eased out underneath of Viva Vienna. Two lengths away then to Quintabelle, followed in the next position by Firestorm. Mary Shan runs on wider, and Lady Sass hits the remainder. Bosson came four off the fence here with Star of Justice. Far side, Grande Gallo and Proved through strongly from Illicit Dreams. Then came Luberon, who's stalking the fave. Bozo and Viva Vienna wider. Star of Justice. Luberon going with her the outside. Impendabel, Grande Gallo, then Illicit Dreams. Mary Shan from the back. It's Impendabel who hit the front. Luberon wobbles about. Impendabel the leader. Here comes Tulsi from the back, running on strongly. Also Molly Bloom. Tulsi, Molly Bloom is descending strongly after Impendabel. The blooming is done. A star is born. Molly Bloom won the thousand guineas, beaten Penderbell, third in Tulsi and fourth across Luberon. Then came Mary Shan from Firestorm, Chica Mojito. Loaded up, ready, gates are back and we're off to a good and level start here. 
Now, uh, Shears Town Criers bounce call sign Mad Flower of Wanaka right there. Malt Time Farrah Leone and Desert Lightning going forward. Havana with those. Lightning Jack on the inside of it, followed through then by He's a Doozy and Brando. Platinum Invader getting through underneath of Pre de Fur and also with those Fashion Shoot. And then we have Matt Scott who's back. As to here is Bellado Boy Aegon over on the inside here. And Rio Dini is uh, two lengths away as the field for the TAB Classic run to the end of the back of the track in Town Cry. She's the leader, Desert Lightning, Flower of Wanaka straight into the sweet seat and then call sign Mav Farah Leone, two further away, Havana travelling on the bridle as they run across the top, back on the inside of it is Malt Time, they're followed by Brando, Platinum and Vader as they buttoned it off there, on the outside is uh, going to be uh, yes, Brando and then Fashion Shoot, uh, Lightning Jack with those runners as well, then we've got Rio Dini, Matt Scott looking to improve and amongst them he's a doozy, from the next one here is Pre de Fur, then Aegon second to last, Ambulado Boy, the outside, Town Crier comes to the top of the straight here, Desert Lightning having a look over on the outside and trying to level now, Farah Leone, Flower of Wanaka pushing up on the inside, now Havana starting to run home really well over on the outside of these, back behind them then Aegon's back on the fence, Desert Lightning got to the lead from Farah Leone, and then over on the outside Havana, Fashion Chafas still there as Flower of Wanaka and Aegon, and wide out Malt Time, Desert Lightning's in front, down to the line, and Desert Lightning will win, very close thereafter, Farah Leone, Malt Time, Flying Aegon Habana. Gates open, they're off in the Cambridge Studs, the Beale Classic. First away, Kelly Coe, and as anticipated, no one really wants the lead. Right there also is uh, Pre de Fer, and there is, in fact, our champion. This is right there in second spot. So the favourite is handy, followed by No Compromise, and Mazzolino's working forward, as many anticipated. Back in behind those next on the inside, Aquacade, followed by Gino Severini. One and a half away, Aegon's found himself out on the cheap seats. Three wide, McNabb looking for cover. Uh, then followed next by Pre de Fer, just in front of it now. Uh, with it also was Platinum Invader, back second. And last, Mally Stone, and last of all, as they swing into the back, is one bold cat. So out over by the 1400 metres mark, they go at a sedate uh, tempo, and the pacemaker is Kelly Coe, led by two. Mazzolino content to sit second on the outside of the race, favourite Campionessa. She gets the gun run third. A length away, no compromise from Aquacade, and then came Gino Severini. Two lengths away, Platinum Invader from Pre de Fur. Two and a half back, Aegon. He's back third last year with Mally Stone, and last of all is the Taranaki visitor and one bold cat. There is 10 links over the field. Inside the 1,000 metres they go. And the group one, Cambridge Studs, Abiel Classic. And the lamplighter is Kelly Coe. Gets an uncontested lead. Leads by one length for Mazzolino. They pack up a little now. A race favourite, uh, Campioness, has had a gun run in the third spot, followed round then by No Compromise. And then came Gino Severini, Aquacade. Further back is Pre de Fer from Platinum Invader. Aegon patiently ridden his back. Uh, third last. Spots the leaders, eight links coming to the corner for Mally Stone and last of all is one bold cat here they come and the Cambridge Studs are Beale Classic and it's Kelly Coe tackled by Mazzolino two links away Campionessa is angling for a run between the two of them two back then to no compromise further out Aegon and then Nequicade at the 250 Kelly Coe giving a sight tackled by Campionessa coming after the no compromise and then Mazzolino Campionessa in front no compromise is the giant killer ranged up on the outside but she kicks again Campionessa and hope he's going to get another one, another group one. Campionis has won it from uh, second over no compromise. Who gave them a, a big fright at the 150? And behind them we had either Mazzolino or Gates open. They're off on the Sistema Railway. Johnny Johnny was first away, beginning quickly. Mercurial Babylon Berlin into the trail immediately, followed out by Bonnie Lass and then Sacred Satano Dragon Leap, a length and a half away. Then to Maria Farina, followed by Maven Bell and White Tech is back of the tails down the side they streak towards the 850 and Johnny Johnny has often gone on his bike he's out by five lengths for Mercurial Babylon Berlin is third and then came Bonnie Lass one and a half away next Sacred Satona and Dragon Leap two lengths back to Maria Farina on the inside of Maven Bell and last of all is White Tech spots Johnny Johnny the best part of ten lengths on the corner into the straight they come in the Sistema Railway and it's Johnny Johnny kept well away from the rail he's out by three lengths for Mercurial Bonnie Lass, Babylon Berlin, closer towards the inside. Now Dragon Leap to 
that have been taken to the extreme outside here. And behind them, then Sacred Satona, Maria Farina, further back, Maven Bell. Out wide, Dragon Leaf, Mercurials all over the place. And look at White Tech bursting through. White Tech's come from last for the Wizard of Wars and White Tech. White Tech wins the Sistema Railway. The Telegraph, and uh, they bounce out of the gates here, beginning quickly. Is Express Yourself, Mercurial straight there. Uh, Lincoln Cruise went back, Dragon Leap might have been a bit slow, and Seamus as well. So here's Mercurial, Express Yourself, and uh, Bonnie Lass inside of those. If in doubt, get out, is the next. They're not guilty, just travelling. They're not breaking any records. They're getting away with it a bit cheap up front here. I'm wonderful tonight. Is that so? Just got the feet cannoned out of it a bit. Gee, Bonnie Lass and uh, if in doubt, get out. Uh, having a decent old argument, yeah, and something went there. Lincoln Cruise clipped heels down, off the right it goes. So uh, as they run towards the home corner now, and here we've got Mercurial and Express Yourself. Bonnie Lass behind these. I'm wonderful tonight. And then we have Is That So? Seamus behind them. Uh, Marina Fr uh, Maria Farina looking for a gap as two Dragon Leap as they go on down here. And Mercurial showed a good turn of foot here. On the inside, Express Yourself is fighting hard. Bonnie Lass is getting through the last little bit on Wonderful tonight. Here it is on the outside, Mercurial Express Yourself is lifting and Bonnie Lass is lunging. Mercurial Express Yourself and Bonnie Lass. Then I'm wonderful tonight. Sh Racing, Lady Sass a bit slow. Going back certainly as well. Shanti Lace goes back. Double Vision, Mary Shan away quickly. Right there, Cinnamon and Impendabel over on the inside and Quintessa one off in a nice spot early. Then we have Leroy Brown back over on the inside then. Trobri and Zab Mansour in the middle of those. Nakaya Wider, a length and a half. Lady Sass just a sharp wider out and between those Shanti Lace. And the last one is certainly as the Cambridge Studlevin Classic run on down the back of the track and uh, to the 1,000 metres here. And a bit of a tussle going on, but around to the lead now is Lee Roy Brown from Double Vision, Mary Shan third. Cinnamon four and Penderbell off the fence. Fifth, a nice run. Favourite follows it, Quintessa. It's stable mate of one of them, Trobri and the inside. Zab Mansour's following Quintessa. Nakaya's out a little bit wider. Then we have Justice Sharp, Shanti Lace, Lady Sass. And certainly is the last one. Here coming to the corner, Lee Roy Brown a length and a half in front. Mary Shan right there third on the inside. Double vision. Impendabel ready to go. Cinnamon as well. And then we've got Quintessa peeling out. Zab Mansour's coming off its back as well as the field for the Cambridge Studlevin Classic Gallop to the 300. Impendabel over on the outside. Goes up to Leroy Brown. Quintessa's coming now. Zab Mansour trying to wind up and Mary Shan is getting a run. One off the fence. Quintessa, Impendabel, Mary Shan, Zab Mansour trying Trying to wind up wider out as Cinnamon. A great finish, Quintessa. Zab Mansour's going to lunge, missed. Favourite will win, Quintessa. Zab Mansour, maybe in. Off on the Thorndon here. One bold cat went back. Lady Talina went back. Ling Zhong Zhong Fong went back as well. Our Echo sprung the lids and is the leader to El Vencedor, who is second. And Panchura, third. No compromise, the middle. Habana a little deeper out. Campioness of the inside. Skyman in that group. And over on the inside is Lightning Jack. Harlick just overreacting to the rider a bit there. One bold cat over on the inside and the grey. Ling Zhong Zhong Fung in the middle of those. From This Is Dramatic, who's around Baden Bouge and Lady Talina is over on the inside. So Joe Doyle, the Irish shaman, has taken El Vincidor to a clear leader as they run off the back and a thousand metres to go in the Thorndon. Puncher has moved to second comfortably and then our echo. No compromise, travels fourth. Habana working a bit at three wide, maybe deliberate. Campioness are underneath of those. Then Skyman followed through by Lightning Jack and one bold cat. Ling Zhong Zhong Fong starting to go forward now. Lady Talina, the middle of them, Baden Bouge, Hanek. And this is dramatic as last as they pack coming to the home corner in the Thorndon. About eight lengths over them and Panchura wide out has made its move now. And Craig Grills uh, sends Panchura to the lead. El Vincidor, the inside Campionessa, our echo. Wider out Ling Zhong Zhong Fong. And uh, then we've got Harlick in behind them, Lady Talina. It is still Panchura El Vencedor over on the inside, trying to out tough it. And then we've got one bold cat. Here it is, Panchura, more than a length. El Vencedor, one bold cat. Lady Delina, the inside, but down towards the line. Panchura proves Group One glory, not uh, any barriers for it. Beats El Vencedor, Lady Delina, one bold cat. Group sprint.
Bonnie Lass exploded from her outside gates, been ridden positively to take the lead. Crescetti's going forward as well, right there, Farrah Leone and Corsine Mav. A length and a half away, Malt Time and Prebu. Then came Habana, followed round by Waitak. Quintessa got back fourth last with it a Dragon Leap, and then I'm Wonderful Tonight and Solidifiers last. Inside the thousand metres they go, and it's Bonnie Lass the leader. Leads by two from Crescetti in the clear and second spot. One and a half away, Corsine Mav. Farrah Leone, the mayor on the inside of him. Then two lengths away, next fifth is Malt Time, followed by Habana. Now, Waitak has been obliged to race three wide, back behind midfield from Imprevu Quintessa. I'm Wonderful Tonight, Dragon Leap and Solidifiers last, and will be ten lengths off this leader, Bonnie Lass. She's trying to run them into the deck. Crochetti's got her right within her sights, though, as they come to the corner. 400 to go in the BCD group sprint. Three lengths away, and behind them next as they head for home is Corsine Mav, followed by Malt Time, and then came Waitak, down to the 250G. Bonnie Lass is still travelling. She led by a length and a half. crochetti has been called upon. Then Corsine Mav. Further back then, we've got Waitak and Quintessa. It's Bonnie Lass. Is this her day? Crochetti's trying ever so hard. Bonnie Lass, Crochetti's lunging, getting close. Not close enough. That's a well-deserved group one for Bonnie Lass. Bonnie Lass has won it from Christian who chased. Gates open, they're off on the Herbie Dyke Stakes and she jumped well from the inside, Legato. Equicade just as well away and going forward, Mazzolino and Sharp and Smart. It's been ridden with urgency in the early stages. They'd be followed out by no compromise. Then came RB, Sky Man over on the inside. Campionessa got back fourth last alongside of Lady Tolina. Two back to one bold cat and two lengths away last of all is Mulliston. Out of the straight they go and the Herbie Dyke as they head out to the 1600 metres and the pacemaker Mazzolino from on the outside sharp and smart third on the rails next is Aquacade Ryan Elliott has got Legato away from the rail and she's fourth one out can you believe swinging into the back two lengths away next and behind them is Skyman on the inside of RB no compromise is caught out in the cheap seats three wide Lady Tolina's next on the inside of Campionessa two and a half to one bold cat and last on the inside of it Mully Stone it's only a, a genuine a, not a genuine tempo it's only sedately run here in the group one Herbie Dyke stakes as they go past a thousand meters and it's Mazzolino the leader now not happy with that lack of speed was no compromise and has now injected the speed into the race now in third position one out sharp and smart and then followed by Equicade Licato's had a beautiful run most of the way now as they swing off the back and she's on the improve then followed round next by RB now Campioness is looking to get the back of Legato as they work down towards the 650 the fireworks about to happen then one ball Cat, Sky Man, Lady Tolina, and last of all is Mully Stone. Eight links over the field in the group one. Herbie Dyke stakes as they come towards a home turn. And sharp and smart, the leader, Legato, is poised to pounce on the outside. So is Campionessa. Two links away, no compromise. Equicade, Mazzolino, further out, one bold cat. It's Legato being called upon here from sharp and smart, who's rallying. So is Campionessa. And behind them, Mully Stone's running on. Legato and Campionessa, the two mares go to war. Legato just in front from Campionessa at her first start over ground. She's won. What else would you expect? Legato. Legato beat Campionessa. Photos for third between either One Bold Cat or Equicade, Sharp and Smart and Melly Stone. They're all there. Racing. Lady Tolina straight back to last and going back early as ladies man. Desert Lightning began well. He began really well. And he's going to find himself in front here from Corsai Mav. And now Belle Claire pushing forward. Two lengths away, Al Vincidor to fourth, followed by La Creek, Punchera taking back midfield. On the outside of Agon, ladies man. Third to last, second to last, Lady Tolina and two lengths away, Chase at the back end. Belle Claire up on the outside of Desert Lightning and they go stride for stride. Lily Sutherland, big moment for her today with the group one ride and uh, now takes the mare to the lead. So it's Belle Claire at the thousand metres. Strode away by two. Desert Lightning needs to trail. Corsai Mav around it. Up at a fourth, El Vincidor, followed by La Creek, Punchera is circling around three wide in the centre at the 800 metres. Zagon, followed by Ladies Man, Lady Tolina, and two lengths away, Chase, who's just niggled out at the back end of the field, across the top to the TAB trackside, 600 in the trackside. Otaki Māori, wait for age, classic, and Belle Clear. She's freewheeling in front. Two and a half, Desert Lightning. The outside is Corsai Mav as Belle Clear tries to slip away. La Creek runs up on the inside strongly, and then came Ladies Man, Agon, El Vincidor, well back 
back, Punchera straightening up in the middle. La Creek, La Creek bursts through. La Creek has raced to the lead here. Agon giving chase. Desert Lightning, wider El Vencedor. It's La Creek though, with 100 metres to go. Second last year, this year. It's all yours, girl. The class mare back on top. La Creek's won it. La Creek won it a length on Agon. Let's bring it on. Gates open, they're off. And the trackside New Zealand Derby and Antrim Coast from the inside began quickly. Renegade Rebels just a wee bit wayward in the early stages from his inside draw. Going forward also now is uh, uh, what you wish for with them as first innings. And pushing forward as well as High Country. And from the deep, we've got Perfect Man's Cinnamon is going to posse up handy as well. Now the favourite orchestral, she'll settle back fifth last. So at the judge, as on the first occasion, and it's Perfect Man's the leader from. On the inside in the centre is High Country, a length and a half away. First innings will lob the trail from there. Then followed by into Lincoln, a nice spot on the inside of Cinnamon. Antrim Coast is next, and then came What You Wish For, followed by Ascend the Throne. A half length away on the outside, Renegade Rebel. Many predicted it would lead its back midfield here as they work into the back. Two lengths away then to Anaroa. Uh, with them also is Moss Invader, one quarter hour, three wide, solidify. Two and a half away then to Transcend. Orchestral, she's well back in the field. She's back fourth last year from Justice Sharp and then came City Gold Ready and two lengths away. Monday Melody is last. Mid-stages of the trackside New Zealand Derby. There is 20 lengths over the field. And the leader is High Country. Came up for air and eases the tempo from Perfect Mans as they climb the rise. First innings and into length both get nine. Nice runs in behind the speed. Then came Antrim Coast from Cinnamon. Then the stable mates ascend the throne on the inside of what you wish for. Solidifies racing three wide. Two lengths away. Orchestral just inching a little bit closer. The odds on pop inside the 800 metres. Then came Moss Invader, Renegade Rebel, just as sharp. Further back is Anaroa. Uh, with them also transcend as they come towards the home turn. And then came Monday Melody. And last of all, a city gold ready. The fireworks about to happen in the tracks. New Zealand Derby as they come towards a home turn and the leader High Country Orchestral she's the, the, the widest of all here she's starting to close now and behind them then as they hit for home we've got into length but Orchestral she's bounded up to them Ellerslie erupts and she takes the lead Orchestral too clear from ascend the throne Antrim Coast going a cheeky race further back then is just the shaft as they go to the 100 metres it's the sight we all envisage it is going to be Orchestral an orchestral masterpiece in the derby. Second over as they went across. What a run in from coast. And then came ascend the throne from Justice Sharp into Link. Further back in the field we had. Let's bring it on. They're off on the Sistema. And bouncing the gate, Velocious began brilliantly. Going forward, Poetic Champion on the inside. Right there, Lavender Hayes and now easy now that their jewel is captured by Love. Kicking up on the inside is Archaic Smile and Turak Mark Two. Now captured by Love's drifted back to be third last, followed by Forever in Time. And last of all, Sever Glee. Down the side, 800 metres out in the Sistema. And it's Poetic Champion, the leader from Velocious. And both of them want to go a lot quicker than what they are. Back in third spot is Lavender Hayes from Turak Mark Two. Archaic smile between the two. A length away next then is captured by Love, followed by Forever in Time. And two lengths away, Savaglia is last, being ridden for one last run at them. Homeward bounder about to turn for home now. 450 to go, and the Sistema stakes the two-year-olds. They eye the group one glory, and Velocious ranged up on the outside of Poetic Champion. Two lengths away then, captured by Love towards the outside. Archaic smile battles on. And behind them then we've got Forever in Time. But Velocious burst to the lead at the 150. He is captured by Love trying to run on with Archaic Smile, but Velocious and Sam Spratt is clear. It's Velocious just carries on winning at Ellerslie. Velocious won the Group 1. Let's bring it on. Gates open. They're off in the bone crush in New Zealand Stakes. And she jumped well. Legato, she's heading forward. Going forward also. Aquacade being ridden very positively as they work up the rise, leaving the straight. So a change of leader here. It's Aquacade leads by a length and a half. Alvincador's second, then followed by Skyman and Legato. She's straight into the box seat for Ryan Elliott. One and a half away next then is Ladies Man, followed by uh, Manifique, who's back midfield the rail. Two links away, sharp and smart. Back fourth last for Mally Stone. 
on. Then Rhea Dini, and last by two is one bold cat. They swing into the back by the 1,400 metres, and Al Vencedor now took it up and got away to lead by three from Aquacade. Two lengths away, third is Skyman on the outside of Legato. One and a half back then to Ladies Man is fifth, followed by Manifique. One and a half back then to Sharp and Smart, still fourth last. The former Derby winner, Malistan, is back in behind it from Rhea Dini, and last of all is one bold cat. Nine lengths over the field as they climb the rise, 1,000 to go, and the bone crusher New Zealand stakes, and it's Al Vencedor and Joe Doyle. Shows the way by two from Aquacade. Licato's getting a beautiful run, the odds on favourite. Uh, then followed round by Sky Man. Ladies Man is next. No moves as yet for Manifique, and then Mully Stone, Sharp and Smart, one bold cat, and Rio Dini now back to last. Eight lengths over the field, 700 metres to go as they come down the side in the group one bone crusher New Zealand stakes, and it's Al Vencedor, led by three quarters from Aquacade. He's got an option here now. He's got to make up his mind. Ryan Elliott on Legato. Does he come away from the rail? He's got gap. She's got a gap there as this leader slipped clear on the corner. Al Vencedor by three from Legato. Two lengths away, Aquacade. Two back into Sky Man. Further back, Ladies Man, and out wider one bold catch. Al Vencedor's giving a great sight. Lead a length and a half. Legato's been called upon. She's slowly getting there. Then Sky Man and Aquacade. Al Vencedor. Could this be the upset of the century? Legato can't pick up El Vincidor, El Vincidor. And Joe Doyle have won the bone crush in New Zealand stakes. There's no such thing as certainties in racing. Second over Legato, she tried hard. Not sure about third, we had Aquacade. Harlow Rocks, one of the quickest into stride, and Cupid Zero away quickly in positivity, closer to the inside and wider out race ace is going forward. Carly Al Farasha right behind them as they whip to the judge and a lap from here. Shanti Lace over on the fence, followed by the next Livid Sky, Poultry Tutor, and his feather back call a friend, who's a bit keen as they head to the first turn. Getting back in the field, sign of peace, Ren on the inside of those, followed by Bozo. Well back, Love Janie, still bang on, Sheep, and Moonlight Magic whips them in. So as they head out of the straight, the Oaks Field is headed up by Harlow Rocks, shows the way and takes them into the back straight and leads it by two lengths on Cupid's Arrow. Third in the race is Positivity, and it's a pretty true sort of pace set up by Harlow Rocks in front as they stride to the back straight. Fourth is Race Ace. Carly Alfarasha underneath it, followed then by Livid Sky. Shanti Lace, the Foxton fully at the 1400, two and a half away to the Lowland winner, who's midfield on the inside. That's Pultritudinous to the outside call of Friend. Two and a half away, Sign of Peace, followed by Wren and Wellback Bozo. Still bang on at the 1200 metres, a long way back with Sheep. Moonlight Magic is back with those runners and uh, at the uh, back end of the field is Love Janie and I reckon there's about 15 first to last of the Oaks of the leader Harlow Rocks and a clear leader she's flying solo she leads by three lengths Cupid zero second third positivity race ace fourth Carly Alfarasha followed on the outside Livid Sky then Shanti Lace call a friend Pulchitudinous the inside sign of peace further back Wren still bang on look at her pick up ground 700 meters to go well back Bozo love Janie Sheaf Moonlight Magic last of all up to the home turn uh, with about 500 metres to go, Harlow Rocks on the inside, joined by Positivity. The outside, Race Ace. Behind those, Carly Alfarasha. The inside, Shanti Lace to the outside. Livid Sky starting to wind up with a pretty good sort of run there across the track. 300 metres to go. And here's Poltratutinus leading go. Poltratutinus ranged up. Hits the lead. Carly Alfarasha coming with her. Positivity and Race Ace. But the Lowland winner forged to the lead. Poltratutinus is drawing away with the Oaks. Poltratutinus is going home to get the group one for Chad Ormsby. Second positivity. And racing to a perfect dispatch. Town Crier was first away. Pearl of Alsace hopped away nicely and goes forward as does Mustang Valley. Bell clear is right on the premises as well. Then came Blissful Bell looking for cover followed on the inside by Hayo Sassbaum. A length away is a Grail Seeker back in behind the Gentian Blue. Two links to Maria Farina Fashion Shoot and Carmen Line is last of all. They climb the rise in the group one feature and there is ten 
lengths over the field. And it's Town Crier, the leader, leads by three quarters from Bell Clear. One and a half to Mustang Valley in the race. Favourite Pearl of Alsace is fourth, one out. One and a half back in behind them. Hayo Sass Bomb on the inside of Blissful Bell. Then came Genty and Blue from uh, Grail Seeker. Back in, on the inside of those, Maria Farina, two back to Fashion Shoot. And Carmen Line is last. Down the side they come in the group one. NZDA, New Zealand Thoroughbred Breeder Stakes. And it's Town Crier, led by a half length from Bell Clear, two lengths away. Mustang Valley and Pearl of Alsace both idling along nicely. And behind them then is Hayo Sass Bomb from Genty and Blue, Blissful Bell. Further back, Maria Farina. Some of these are a fair way off these leaders from Fashion Shoot as they swing in with Carmen Line. 300 metres to go, Bell Clear. Bell Clear took over from Town Crier, two lengths away, Pearl of Alsace. Then came Blissful Bell, further back then is Grail Seeker. And out wide, Carmen Line, but Bell Clear burst clear at the 150 shut the gate it's all over bell clear from town choir blissful bell bell clear goes back to back with a brilliant win go in the group one racing velocious out okay beaten out by capture by love who flew the gates going back to last unbridled joy so it's captured by love to the lead early over full force and here's red sea whizzing off around the outside of velocious is going to settle down fourth and she's just a little keen to the run. A length away, Savagly, full of then over on the outside. Sergeant Major, Lavender Hayes, the bolter. A length and a half, Unbridled Joy. Well back, Archaic Smile. Add two lengths away, move to strike. Plenty of speed in the size, and Red Sea. Red Sea ripping into his work, led it by four lengths. Captured by Love, second, two lengths, two Velocious at the 800 metres, third on the inside. To its outside, full force, followed by Savagly. Over on the inside of it is Sergeant Major. Two back, Lavender Hayes, Archaic Smile, Unbridled Joy, and a length and a half. Last of all, move to strike. Pace just came out of the race slightly before the turn. Red Sea, captured by Love. Around them, three wide, full force, Velocious, just held up slightly as they go for home in the size. Captured by Love alongside Red Sea. Spratt looking to get out with Velocious. Then came full force, no room, Velocious. It's captured by Love, Red Sea, and now down the outside, move to strike has joined in. Archaic Smile from a mile back. Move to strike, it's the lead. Another size for the Tangerine. It's the I Am Invincible called Move to Strike Too Good to be Red Sea. Captured by Love, third for Archaic Smile. Sergeant Major Savaglee, back behind them has...